Good morning, everyone. Welcome on into North Dakota today. Time to say all for nice. We have Amanda joining us this morning with our North Dakota Nice Blog. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Thank you for having me. It's so wonderful to have you. And you know what? I would like an explanation of the O for Nice. The O for Nice? Oh. Yes, only because I had never heard of this term. And everybody was like, oh, yeah, O for Nice. So I had to learn like how to use it, how to say it. Yes. Well, you have to say it with more of like a fur, like O for Nice. Oh, see? Oh, see? nice. I wasn't even doing it justice. I knew I needed some background research here. Yeah. That, we, have, we, we use that very commonly around here just for <laughs> Any feeling you have, sarcastically or really? positively, but I only ever use it positively. Okay, I like it. I like it. Yeah. Thanks for the explanation. Heck yeah, you use it. Use it in a sentence today. Use it as a sentence today in your day. I mean, I've been trying, just doing it wrong, but that's typical me. Yeah, that's <laughs> there's no wrong way to do it. Somebody will just go for oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they were letting me do it. I've been doing it for a while now. Heck yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have incredible topics coming up. We do, including okay. a pajama drive. Yeah, pajama drive. Away. Yes, we are going to go back in time, 13 years, oh. to a woman named Lee Olson and Grand. Forks. She, uh, her daughter was in daycare, or I'm sorry, her son was in daycare, and a little girl in the daycare was diagnosed with leukemia. Uh, very, and so she was getting treatment at Children's Hospital yeah. in the cities. And the mo her mother found out that Children's gives every one of their kiddos mm -hmm. uh, a toy, a book, and a pair of jammies. Aww. And so she went back to the daycare and said, "Does anybody want to donate some pajamas? I'll bring them with me." Yeah. And so Lee said, "I do." She put it on Facebook got 190 pairs of jammies. <gasps> Next year, they do the exact same thing. This yes. time, 300 pairs of jammies. Yes. Uh, so now we are 13 years later. The third year, uh, the third year on has all been in Grand Forks because the little girl is now cancer free. Ooh. And so she doesn't need treatment anymore, wow. thank goodness. Yeah. And so, um, so I'm gonna tell you what these pictures are in yeah. a second. So now it's become a really, a truly a community event. Six of the schools in Grand Forks raise money for these pajamas. The two high schools do a dodgeball tournament. Mm. They sell candy canes. People donate jammies. They donate money. The businesses give her, give Lee uh, granting funds. And so this year they're aiming to get a thousand pairs of pajamas. Wow. And they're going to help the Community Violence Intervention Center and Carlson Center, Grand Forks County social workers. And then we have a school in Grand Forks where 90% of the kids are on assist or on a free or reduced lunch assistance mm -hmm. and so Lee this year was able to get enough jammies to give every kid in kindergarten there a free <gasps> pair of jammies. So that's what this picture is right here. Look at these little sweet potatoes. And they're all in their jammies? And they're in their jammies! <laughs> oh my gosh this is so beautiful. I, know, I You know what I like about it is that jammies are a, need, a want not a need yeah. right like nobody needs pajamas. I mean I, well I, I think we all need them, right? Yeah. But you, uh, <laughs> but you know, cute or festive or fuzzy, you right. know. Yeah. And I mean, also if you're if you're trying to decide how to pay bills, pajamas are a pretty low priority. You can right. sleep in clothes, right? And so I mean, like, and, and jammies for kids are so tough. Like my kids, if they get invited to a sleepover, we are piecing together. <laughs> like, I, like, what can we have that doesn't fit their legs or fits their legs? Yeah. Like, like reshingled the house in them. It's terrible. Yeah. So this is an amazing thing. She is still fundraising for jammies until the 21st. Okay. If you're in Grand Forks, they, she has a number of business drop-off sites. I will put them on my website. Okay, perfect. And if you're out of Grand Forks or you don't want to drop off, mm -hmm. she has an Amazon wish list so you can pick out your jammies. Oh, I love that. Donate. So easy. Yes. So easy to help out these days. It is. And so thank you to Lee. Thank you to everybody in Grand Forks for help. I think the best part of these kind of programs is that everybody chips in, right? It's hard. You can't be a one-person fundraiser. No. So it's uh, it's wonderful that it they do It takes a village. It does. And then she she goes into sizes and everything that she needs to? Yes. Okay. So yes, exactly. For these ever-growing little kiddos. They are. Just like you said. Yep. <laughs> It'll exactly. fit one year and the next and it's, it's up to up their <laughs> uh, to crop top. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> or okay. Love okay. that. Okay. We got two minutes and we're talking about Miss America. We are. We are cranking <laughs> through. Okay. So many of you probably have met Miss North Dakota, Sydney Helgeson, because she has done 150 visits to different places to talk about her own platform of yep. community volunteerism across the state. In fact, last week she did 10. So the chances of you meeting her. Wow. This is Miss North Dakota's teen, Ellie. And so they, I want you all to be ready because in like three weeks they are going to Miss America. And, and so it begins. And so it begins. I know they've been on this, on this journey, on this show. 
Uh, they both are singers. Ellie, you may have seen her around North Dakota singing the national anthem. Uh, look at how cute they both are. Uh, beautiful <laughs> and cute. <laughs> and so they are, they are preparing hard. Everybody who competes at Miss America gets a scholarship. Wow. And so they are, they are working very hard right now because a huge part of Miss America happens behind the scenes and in, in, in the interview. And mm -hmm. so they are working hard to prep for that. And uh, I, I'm very excited to see how they do and how they represent the state. And I know that they have done a great job around the state, yeah. getting everybody engaged. Ellie's platform is around, she's a full-time high school student, but hers is around uh, the American Heart Association. And so they are, are busy, busy yeah. helping to spread the good word. Well, and then, you know, you have involvement with the pageants as well, too. Yes, yeah, so. For the first year, well, I, I'm a brand new, I'm a novice, for the very first year, in June, and it's the only year they'll never have me back. Uh, I was a judge of the pageant. They won't ever have me back because you can only judge once, oh. which is what they probably tell just me. So I was one of the judges. It was amazing. They it, it, it is a great scholarship program. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, can I take a very quick second? I just want to say happy birthday to my dad. My dad's Aww. birthday is today. Happy birthday. <laughs> he watches this every time. <gasps> Beautiful. Well, Thank happy you. birthday. I hope you have a wonderful day. Me too. Okay, tell us how to get in touch with your blog, submit ideas, and maybe just speak with you. Yes. NorthDakotaNice.com or NDNice.com. Or you can find me on Facebook or Instagram, or you can find me around town. Just <laughs> people have been great about grabbing me when I've been out, which I really like. So thank yeah. you very much. Okay, I love that too. Yeah. And I happy too. birthday to your dad. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming on. Thanks, Ashlyn. It was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be Monday without her, right? That's right. Well, well I hope so. <laughs> stay tuned, everybody. Coming up on today's show, this is exciting. Learn how to pamper yourself and your loved ones this holiday season. We are checking in live with Hair Success. <laughs>